In this video, I am going to discuss about the difference between rollup and group operators in Oracle database. So, about the rollup operator, it is used to calculate subtotal plus ground total for a set of columns. And in group by cross, we did it retrieve total sum of salaries of all employees. That's why we are using rollup and cube operator. And about the cube operator, it produced result by generating all combination of columns as specified in the group by clause. So right here I am using the table EMP. So this is the record inside EMP table. So first let's understand by problem. So and we are going to use select. So I have selected DPD number and here going to do the sum on sam column and from EMP table and here let's just group by. So about the group by clause I already discussed in my previous video. Now here I am going to execute. So first let's select the DPT number. So I selected DPT number because it's a duplicate values. I am doing the sum on salary. So according to department wise, going to do the sad, sum of salary. So 10, 20, 30. So this is the sum of salary of 10, 20, 30. Now here after let's apply roll up. So and here going to use Raw up operator. Now here if I'm going to execute the difference. So add here uh, ten, uh, when I used this query select or uh, DPT number sum and from a uh, group by EMP, then I found only three rows. But add here when I uh, executed this query by using rollup. So I am getting the extra one uh, columns. So DP number null has the, this is the uh, uh, double three five two five value it's displaying. So add here by using rollup. So it is used to calculate subtotals plus grand totals from a set of columns. So this is the about the rollup. Now here after I wanna achieve this output without using rollup. So let's do that. So add your first going to select null. Now here after come on that and here after from the empty table. Okay. Execute this query. So this will display a uh, at here ground rotor. Now execute that. So see at here ground rotor. It's a display. Now here after next thing you should do. So let's uh, copy this line and here paste it down. Now here after oh. Uh, so you should use add union operator. Now if you execute this key, so check the output. So see add here, uh, without using rollup or cube operator, operator, I'm getting the same output. Okay, but add to here, it's a displaying null and here some fact. So if you want, then here you can give the meaningful uh, column name. Or you can achieve this output by using uh, grouping sets. So let's understand how to write the grouping set here. So add here, we need to use select. Going to select to add here dp number. Going to select dp number from that here. So let's give add here alias. So giving add your alias total from EMP and your group by. 
So group by and here after using grouping sets. And here let's use bracket and bring the grouping set on dpt number. And here open and close bracket and close by semicolon. Now if you execute this three, so see at here you are getting the same output. So this time I used grouping set. So at you which is the simplest query? So this has so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 lines. And by using add here, oh, this is unit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This also 6 lines. But if you are using rollup operator, so you need to give out add here only 3 lines. So this is the simplest query to achieve the output like this. That's why we are using rollup or cube operator. Now I'm going to discuss about the cube operator. So add here about cube operator. So first I'm going to uh, copy this line. And here after let's paste it down. So here let's see the difference and uh, all those things about the rollup and cube. So this time if I execute to this query, so see at here, it's uh, getting this output. But if I'm going to execute this one, so I'm getting uh, sub uh, sub plus ground total at here. Now in place of uh, uh, this one, I'm going to use at here or uh, using cube. Now execute that. So add here by using Q. Yeah, uh, I'm getting the same output, and but add here the order has been changed. Now let's uh, understand what are the differences between uh, this uh, cube and rollup operator. So add here using the table EMP. So this is the record inside EMP. So this time going to uh, take uh, two columns. First is job. Next is DP number. I'm going to make the job and DP number in the group because add here the uh, jobs and DP number has the duplicate values. Okay, so uh, let's uh, copy that one and draw the straight down. So add here going to give dp number and job and you are going to add one new column to the name now if you execute to this query so i am getting the output this so this is the output by using group by without using rollup now here after so next to add here going to use rollup so rollup and here after roll up applying on two columns. Now execute that. So see at here, this is the output I'm getting 10 or uh, 4 times here. Yeah. So this is the output 10 that is 4 times 20, 4 times 30, uh, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 times 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So add here total numbers of rows add here 14 by using rollup. So if you calculate, so this is the uh, 4 and here this is the 4. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30 and 1 is for 9. So it's a display ground total this values. Now here after let's use this term Q. So this time going to use Q. Add here by using rollup 14 rows of acted, but add here by applying Q. So total numbers of rows 20 rows of acted. And this is the output here I am getting. So this is the output here by using Q. So see the output difference by using group by. So this is the output by using rollup. So total subtotals plus ground total, it's a display. 
but add here cube so by using cube so add here i'm getting this output and the definition of cube is so it provides result by generating all combination of columns as specified in the group by clause so all possible combination as specified in group by clause so if you make the group so one group that created for 13 developer so 13 developer the value is 13 developer 6000 20 curve the value is 20 curve 1900 30 salesman the value is 4100 and all possible combination of rows so add here it's uh, included null values so add here null none so this is the ground total 13525 add here null curve so 4150 And here 10 null 8750. You can find 10 null 8750. So extra columns added have or like uh, this one. So first is for uh, null already there. So this is the extra column null color 4150. So you cannot find null color for one. So one for color, one for analyst, one for management, one for salesman, one for or developer next for president so one two three four five six so three or uh, six extra columns added add here in by using q so this is the difference here so roundup operator it is used to calculate subtotals plus grand totals for a set of columns but add here by using q so it provides result by generating all combination of columns as specified in the group by q class so here yeah, this is the six column that is extra added by using cube operator and this is the output by using roller and this is the output simply by using group so group by class cannot give uh, grand total and subtotal values so we should use roller or cube so this is the grand total here yeah. So this is the things about the rollup and cube operators in Oracle database. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.